answer to all your problems. Ta-da! What the? Oh, my Are you kidding me? Woo! This is a shelter, a safe haven for women to come without societal judgment. Come on, Sarah McLaughlin. What you got, Lizzo? <laughs> We are talking Chick Fight. This one is directed by Paul Layden, who is mostly known for directing TV shows. And this one stars uh, Marlon Ackerman, who you may know from the Watchmen adaptation, obviously based on the comic book made into the uh, movie by Zack Snyder. You may also know her from the movie The Final Girls, more of a horror, uh, one of the horror fans there. You've also got supporting cast here, Bella Thorne, who is kind of like this ex-Disney princess who turned kind of bad girl, both in real life and kind of in this movie as well. And you've also got Alec Baldwin and Kevin Nash. Now, this movie fancies itself as a kind of bridesmaid meets the Fight Club, I would suggest. Now... The main character here is called Anne Widdicombe, which, in the, if you're from the UK, it sounds remarkably like Anne Widdicombe, and I couldn't help but think of that every time I saw the name, which makes it for some uncomfortable viewing. So it focuses on uh, Anne, Anna's character, who is this, so the character of Anna, who is this downtrodden woman, nothing seems to go right in her life, there's, you know, it's a typically written intro showing her how downtrodden she is, etc., and she is convinced by her friend to go into this kind of underground fight club exclusively for women so they can kind of get their um, their frustrations out in the open and they feel that men have this outlet that women don't, it's going to look down upon, etc. Uh, and, and she's obviously a complete novice. And the kind of the champion, the bad girl, of course, is played by Bella Thorne, who obviously takes a dislike to Anna. And uh, Anna decides she's going to get trained by... Um, Alec Baldwin's character, who is this kind of uh, drunken coach, whilst also having a new romantic love interest and trying to have a relationship with her father as well, played by Kevin Nash. What all happened? You have to watch the movie to find out. So this movie has got kind of trashed in some of the reviews I did read before, kind of you know watching it really. But um, it, are they fair? Let's discuss. Let's talk about what works first of all. Uh, Mullen Ackerman his name I can barely say, I've recorded this video about five times so far, I keep mispronouncing it, is a likeable actress, but she doesn't particularly pick great projects uh, a lot of the time. Um, I liked her in, in The Final Girl, I really did, but she was quite poor in Watchmen, and she's you know had a few kind of missteps here and there. But I do think she makes quite a relatable kind of every woman type. Um, she, and I liked her in this role, for the most part. Um, and she's kind of like, she, I think she has got quite quite good comedic timing, uh, and she seems very affable. So I liked her character. Um, there are some funny moments within this movie. I didn't, I was never laugh out loud funny, but the movie does have a few kind of like jokes that I feel did hit. And there are a couple of kind of like pop culture references, and things like that, that I, th I found were amusing, at least to me. And I quite like some of the supporting cast here. I thought Alec Baldwin's drunk coach was uh, was quite funny. Um, I quite like the kind of like there's a lot. Of, there's actually quite a lot of peripheral characters here, um, and there's some smaller characters like the kind of like the French barmaid who I kind of quite like. Things like this, um, uh, sort of some of Bella Thorne's sort of characters' friends even have a little bit of you know backstory themselves. And I, I, I you know quite I quite like some of the kind of the, the smaller characters here. And that the fight scenes themselves, they are style over substance, and they are filmed in a way, which again we're going to come on to, that um, is open for criticism. But there are a few sequences where I do feel at, le at least work cinematically, even though if you are a fan of real MMA, you're going to think, you know. But I think at least there are some sequences here that look look good in, on a stylistic um level at least, although there is a little bit of over-reliance on slow down and things like this. But there are some fight scenes where I do, at least shots within the fight scenes that I do think kind of worked. The movie is quite kind of well paced and it's kind of like your classic underdog story. Now, let's maybe transition to maybe what doesn't work. 
I think this movie is just so by the numbers. Um, it is like writing a, a sort of like, let's just go to the back to the basics, recycle every old kind of cliche that you possibly can uh, and, and have this kind of like this underdog story, really. So the movie's kind of like, does feel like it's a retread of a lot of other kind of properties before it. Um, I have seen this get a little bit of criticism from people pushing back for the, you know, the feminism being rammed down people's throats and stuff like that. There is a little bit of implied, you know, anything the guys can do, we can do better type thing. But to be honest with you, I didn't find it overbearing in, in the film, but be aware that, that there is that. Obviously, if you're not gonna like this kind of like sort of thing, then, you know, I, 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 it's not gonna change your mind. Um, the fight scenes, I think one of the, the problems is with this film is if you're not gonna watch it as a fan of combat or combat films or MMA, now they've chosen to go for actors who, to my knowledge, aren't really known for fighting and instead having obviously stunt people do the uh, do the actual, at least the majority of the fights outside of a few close-ups. And you can kind of really tell because when we get a lot of the kind of the wide angles, you always see people's hair in front of their face and things like this. So it's clearly not the act, you know, the actors doing it, which, you know, there, there are actresses and actors who, who can do martial arts and things like this and would have made for a more, more of a, an immersive experience. But when we do see the fight scenes, um, we are kind of, it's, it's noticeable in the way that they, they try desperately not to be able to sh show you who, you know, the actual combatants faces, apart from a few inserts where they have close-ups and stuff like that. Again, as I've said, the, the, I, I think the, the fight scenes are style over real substance. There's an over-reliance on slow-mo, like I've said. And um, I, I just don't think if you're, like a, for example, a martial arts movie fan, you're going to kind of really get much from this. I think it, it's really a comedy first and then a kind of a fight film second for that. But talking about the comedy, some of the kind of the... Um, the gags here and certain characters, I do feel um, are just dialed up a little bit too much to uh, an, an annoying level for at least I think it's gonna be for some audience members here. Um, there's way too many characters uh, in this film. Her father, for example, his, his kind of plot seems completely superfluous. Um, and it's not needed in the, in the plot at all. It, there's, there's just such a kind of like, so many small little characters that we have. It just kind of dilutes, I think, from any any real tension. The plot also is just hamstrung by these conveniences, and the worst of which is this really unconvincing love story. Um, and this, to me, was the worst thing in the film, was this um, very contrived uh, romantic angle that they kind of... I mean, this is, I think this movie's aimed at women um, in a kind of a ham-fisted way, obviously... Um, directed by a guy, but it just, I, I think it looks, it, it's like what a guy thinks a woman would like, if, if that makes sense. Um, but to me, the the the, uh, the love angle, the, the romantic angle, had, they had no chemistry whatsoever. They looked, their scenes looked particularly kind of awkward, and it just, it just smacked of, like, um, convenience and stuff like that. But the whole film, to be fair, is just a, a string of kind of conveniences to kind of move the plot in, in one direction uh, and just, just so we can have this kind of underdog story. Um, you know, I, that being said, I didn't mind the movie. Um, I did find it mildly diverting. It's kind of nice to watch something else other than kind of like horror and sci-fi. Uh, even, even though arguably you could say this is an action film, um, I think uh, it's, it has some levity in it that I think at least made it a, a watchable film, if not a memorable film. So I'll give this one a 5 out of 10. I don't think it's bad, as some people would say, and I don't think it tries to um, be too kind of in your face with political messages. It's just a sprinkling of that, but it doesn't go so far, I, I, I think. And people just see it and kind of go, oh no, blah, p political stuff in my films, don't want it. Um, and that's a sentiment I understand, don't, don't get me wrong, but I don't think this movie goes too far in that direction, if I'm honest. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I actually think it's just a watchable film. You can kind of watch it once if you like lightweight, forgettable kind of comedies. 
you watch it once, you'll forget about it. You enjoy it for an hour and a half, maybe while you're chatting to someone on your phone. Anyway, five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.